Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? I got a message coming from Holy Spirit, um, one that is going to be fully, fully Holy Spirit-led. Um, so, let's get into the message. Holy Spirit, please lead me to where you want me to be in this time, for I know it's to you that all things are possible, and it's in your name that I pray. Monday, November 23rd. Those who have read daily God, God posts for many years have noticed that my bio has changed. Yes, I have a thrusty golden retriever as my riding partner. I spend, I still spend my days with a dog at my feet. His warm breath keeping cadence with the tapping of the keys. Same breed, same tender heart. But now it is Zeke, not Jack, who keeps me company as I write. We had to put Jack down. He was 16 years old, loyally holding steady in his spot underneath my desk. But I knew he was in pain. His dark eyes seemed to beg me to let him go. So to let him leave me with dignity, to let me leave him with dignity. Oh, I cried, how I cried, it hurt. Jack had slept under each of my baby's cribs after they came home from the hospital. He had walked down the country roads at my side as I contemplated my next book. He had watched my children's first steps. He had helped me say goodbye to lost loved ones. He had my anchor, in many storms. He had been my anchor in many storms. I miss him still. Zeke is different. He has a different spot under my desk, still close enough to warm my toes, but a little farther back, a little off to the side, where Jack calmly looked at me with his big brown eyes. Zeke jumps up and licks my face. Where Jack walked, Zeke runs. But Zeke is still here. Still my writing partner, my soft, warm touch when things start to feel overwhelming. Writing doesn't, writing just doesn't feel the same without my guy under my desk. I am thankful for my beloved dogs, but even more for my God, who is sure and steadfast, unchanging, unmoving, and steady. Anchoring me in the midst of countless storms being that warm touch that soft landing place that resting place for my soul we have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of soul a hope that centers into the inner place behind the curtain father god thank you for your steady sure and unmovable love for me So I kind of feel like this is about someone who lost someone that was very important to them. Um, but they also found another person who was a bit different from the first person that they lost. But at the same time, still loyal and still there for them. Um, I feel this person that they have, the new person that they have met is more has more energy and more life, whereas the person that they lost was more laid back and quiet and calm, but there was uh, still a love that he had for that old person and the love that he has for this new person. And the old person in some ways had to die and, and he had to let go of this person so that he and this person would have dignity or so that this person that's lost per this person that they had to let go of would still have dignity okay and they want to thank the lord for um always being there for them and never leaving them and providing them with a love and somebody that is there for them and has been there for them. Even the person that they had to 
um, that they lost, that they had to let go of. Holy Spirit, lead me to a scripture and what it is you want to say in the name of Jesus Christ. For I must tell you that all things are possible and it's in your name that I pray. Amen. And the whole congregation sent home to speak to the children of Benjamin that were in the rock Remian and to call peaceably unto them. And, Gen and Benjamin came again at the time and they gave them wives which had which they had saved alive of the women of Jabesh and Galid, and yet so they sufficed them not. And the people repented them for Benjamin, because the Lord had made a breach in the tribes of Israel. So yeah, this is about someone who had to that lost somebody and but they gained somebody else. And maybe the Lord caused this to happen because there was a breach in a covenant that was made. So maybe the Lord intended for somebody to be with someone else. And so he calls for this to happen. He calls for this breakup to happen. He calls for this loss to happen. Because this person did not want to give up this, like the man that was talking about how he, um, he didn't want to give up his his first his first puppy. He this person, whoever it is, they didn't want to give up their um their first woman, their first wife. They didn't want to give them up. It was hard for them to give them up. And so um The Lord, the Lord had to, um, the Lord had to help this person to understand what it is that they needed and to repent for going outside of the Lord's will. Because there was a breach in the covenant made with a child of God, which may be this new, this new, um, this new puppy, this new love. So this person will repent and Israel provides wives for the surviving men of Israel. And this man will be provided another wife that will take care of him. Um, this woman will like this second uh, puppy that this man got will be have more energy and be more um, just more energetic and more affectionate because this puppy as like he said the first puppy would just sit and look at him with warm brown eyes but this second puppy jumps up in his lap and he licks him in the face so this person will be more affectionate and have more energy the um the second love that this person is getting okay so that's the message y'all peace